Hey, what's up, guys? Team Hard Like Captain Albert Zutucci here. All right, so today, with everything going on with the Jack Travels, that means Kingfish are coming in very quickly. However, right now that the Jacks are in, Tarpon are in as well. So what you want to do is use a Kingfish rig to hook them up. They will also hook Kings, Shark, Tarpon, Jacks, Cobia. We've hooked Speckled Trout on them when you reduce the size of your hooks and type of bait. And instead of fishing the end of the period, you'll fish up close in the guts with them. So with this Kingfish rig, its ability to hook all kinds of fish are open. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share how we have ours rigged up, the tackle we use for it as well, because surf weights is a major issue with them. If you're using a proper surf weights, your slide line will never stick and it'll keep dropping on you and sagging and sagging. It won't keep your fish in the proper place as well as it won't give you the ability to maneuver your slide line rig off the pier. How do you do that? I'll show you. So here are some of our leader setups. We've got one, well, let's do it like this. This is the leader without a teaser, okay? The rest of them have some kind of teaser on them. This one's our glitter, we got a pink, we got a pearl, and then we got a chartreuse pearl. And we actually have a red one as well, but we're sold out of it right now. However, these give you an idea of what they look like for the different variations that we have. We also started doing some circle hook ones, and then we've got the original old style with the J hook. So on these, this gives you an idea of the variety of leaders that you can actually choose from. Then our slide weights, of course, one ounce, two ounce, three ounce. We're missing the four, we got five and a six ounce here. But it just gives you an idea of what is available and what we can do. These are my stainless steel surf weights, and I just grabbed a small assortment of them. And the 332nd, which is the lighter wire right here, I actually I go from a 3 ounce all the way up to a 12 ounce. And on my 1 8 gauge, which are the heavier ones here, I go from 7 ounce all the way up to 3 pounds. However, for casting, you're going to cast a weight that you can normally do easy. That way it can hold. And normally you start out at 332nds. On the days when you're trying to fight big waves and big surf to keep your braid out there, then you go to the 1 8 which this ones will also allow you to put out monster sized baits and keeping your line tight to get it far enough away from the pier. And this is the way we'll normally set it up. And you notice I angled my prongs up like that. So that way when I put a lot of pressure on it, they'll bend back just a little bit, but not enough to bend back the wires. But this is a 332nds and these are the 1 8th. So at, at the beginning, you got to try these. And if the surf is that heavy and the waves are too big, then you go to the 1 8th. But on these, you gotta use a minimum of 50 pound test line on it so that way it doesn't bust on you when you're trying to break your weight loose. So that's your surf weight. I've gone over the slide weights and your, your rig. So let's get it done. All right guys, so here's my King rig setup. And this is the Pro Series. The reason why it's called a Pro Series is because Right here, instead of just going straight to my swivel, I actually got a snap swivel here. And this snap swivel allows me to detach my bottom hook section from my leader section. And the reason for that is because I sell these hook sections by themselves in a multi-pack. So that way, when this is deeply embedded into a kingfish or has been damaged too much by catching too many kings, which is normally a problem that everybody will have or that when you're catching a lot of fish. So instead of having to deal with the issue of cutting and breaking and doing it all right there on the pier, which cuts out of your fishing time, we have those blister packs. And the packages are made so that way when you're changing out, if they don't come with a teaser on it, there's three per pack. But if they do have a teaser on them, there will be one per pack, and you're looking at that price range right there. And the reason for that is so that way, like I said, once you get set up and you're on the fish, you know and I know 
every time the kings come through, you're on a small window because then they will decide to stop biting. So if you're wasting an hour or two trying to rig back up, that's a lot of kings you could have missed out on in that time. So by having the extra hook sections available, you can detach, got the hook, okay, that fish is gone or that leader's messed up. Let's get it hooked back up and I'm back in the water. Now here's another improvement I've done too, is on my three-way here, I actually clip my slide line weight directly to it. And I invert it. What I'll do is I'll use my snap here and I'll clip it in this way. And this allows my snap this allows my slide weight to stay with my whole leader section, which means at the end of the day, when I lose or get pulled off my, my anchor rod multiple, multiple times, I'll only have added a few ounces of weight versus this is a two ounce. When you have multiple hits, they separate the two and your slide weight will end up sliding down your anchor rod if you do it the old style way. But by doing it this way, you're only leaving snap swivels down there or swivels or snaps by themselves, which means you don't ever have to move your anchor rod all weekend. And I've actually done where I had 50 something hits on a weekend and not once did I have to pull my anchor rod in with worrying about having too much weight down there. Cause when your slides, when your slide weights go down, they add a lot more weight to it. So after about three or four hits, you have to pull and break your anchor line or break your weight loose from your anchor line, pull it in and pull everything off and then reset it. And sometimes I've seen where when you're doing that and you got the honey holes, somebody will accidentally cast into your spot accidentally and you lose it. So if y'all fish the pier, y'all know what we ran into, but here's one way to avoid that. You'll never have to pull in your anchor line by doing it this way. So let me go ahead and show you how I rig it on my line. And right now what I've done, all right, so what I've done, because <clears throat> it's too windy to take y'all outside and do this without having everything muffled off, I've got a rod anchored here and I've got my surf weight over there. So now I'll take my snap tool or my snap that is open, I'll clip into my anchor line and I'll lock it in place. All right, so there you go. There is my my anchor line. It's once it's out in the water, I'll use my snap right here to hook my slide weight on, connect it to my leader. Down. I'm going to pretend this is one of the pylons to the pier, and obviously the handrail is going to be a lot higher. But this is the best way I can show you this real quick. So I've got my anchor rod set up, and what I'll do is I'll start to give my king rig leader some slack, and I'll bring it down. And what I'll do is if I want it far away from the pier, I can tighten up my line and send it further out away from the pier so that way if they're far enough from the pier I can get my hits. However, if they're not way out there and they're a little closer I can bring it in and just give a little bit more slack to my line and bring it right there. Or if they're right up near the pier I can do the same by just controlling my fighting line. By controlling that, I can adjust where I want to fish with my king rig near the pier or away or even way away from there by giving it slack. So it just all depends on the size of rod you got for your anchor line, how heavy and strong enough your surf weight is to be able to hold it in place. And with your surf weight being able to hold the weight of your anchor line, because what this is, your anchor line is putting a lot of pressure out there. And if it's not able to hold that sand, the legs will bend out, give way, and your anchor rod will always keep dropping and dropping and dropping. It's because your surf weight is, is sliding. That, by going up to the stainless steel surf weights that we sell here, those will help keep it in place longer so that way when that fish hits it, here's the other thing too. When that fish comes up and takes this line, this is what ends up happening. It separates, and there's your snap right there. Oh. There's your snap that'll stay there, and as you can see, it's already going down to the bottom. It's doing what it needs to do, and you can fight your fish off of here. Slide weight will stay there, 
<clears throat> and then on your next fish, you grab another snap swivel and you hook it right up. The next snap swivel, without moving your anchor up, open it up, clip right in, rebate your system, and then you send it right back out to wherever they're hitting. And that's the beautiful thing about this system is you can prejudge where you want to fish at. So you can fish up near the pier, a little further away, or farther away. Normally when I put slides out, I'll do out multiple ones, one up close, one far, and or I'll see what everybody else is doing and see where they're hitting at and I'll try to mimic what they're doing. Because basically that's what's going on is they'll be hitting at certain distances. But at the same time too, if you're fishing into the wind or away from the wind, will also determine where the fish are biting at. So, all right guys, here's our king rig setup and how we do it. So y'all have a good one.